I think we broke the most yardage record in our state history of the game. So, yeah, we were we were mixing it up. You no, know, yeah. Like I think you guys asked me a week ago. We have you asked me about the identity of the offense, and I said I don't know. We have playmakers everywhere. We got a, a good old line, a good running back. So I mean, we were threw the ball a bunch. We were running the ball a tempo a bunch. So. It's us, that's our identity now. You know, throw the ball around the tempo, run the ball up the middle, get on the outside a little bit, put it in the playmaker's hands, run the score. You guys always have talent. So I know you guys have talent on offense, but you had great talent on offense last year, and it didn't seem to click quite like this, at least early in the year. Like, what's, what's the difference beyond just talent when everything comes together like that? Because it seemed like at times last year, you guys were seeing it. It seems like you got on the way to that. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, you know, having a definite quarterback probably helps, you know, excluding that QB battle. Probably puts more confidence in everybody that, you know, you know, you know you're not guessing who's going to throw me the ball. You know who that is. And, I mean, I'm sure Coach Warner being up in the box. And I kind of, that game right there is kind of a rollover from the Team Up North game to the Notre Dame game. And then, so he's, he does a pretty good job up there. Matt, is this the offense that you wanted to see, the way that it's balanced, the way that you guys play today? Yeah, I mean, like I said, the week we have playmakers everywhere. I'm confident in our O-line. I think we utilize you know, every aspect of our offense today. So yeah, I like, I like to see that. You know, you're not, you know, you don't, you're not lacking anywhere. What I want to say. You, know, you have options of what you can do with the football. Pat, this is so much, so much made of just the three starters back on each side of the ball. Did you have any nerves, uncertainty about all these new guys going out there and being able to do what they did today? I mean, just from going through camp and everything, I knew what they could do, but I didn't know what they could do in front of them. So I wasn't nervous. I was anxious to see how all these guys would do. Now I saw what they could do. Everyone did. So that's pretty exciting. What it is. I just wanted to see Did that. you think it could be like that? I mean, I knew it could be, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be. You know, like kind of like last year, the potential was there, but we definitely lived up to it today. So it's a, it's a good starting point for us. Pat, your uh, thoughts on Michael and the way he played this first day? Um, I think he played pretty good for a freshman getting thrown in there like that. Uh, I have to watch the film and see, kind of critique how he how he did on the small stuff that we worked on. But that was a good game for him. I mean, just talking to him after the game, he said he only maybe messed up a few times, which happens to everybody. I messed up a few times. But for the most part, I mean, he did pretty good. Were you out there kind of helping him along? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Always yeah. Up, and just a credit to, you know, how we prepare. We were prepared for almost everything they were running. So you know, I would just, you know, double check with him. Make sure to Mike, you know, watch this guy, watch this guy. I think he had a false starter too. So he may have been a little nervous there, but other than that, yeah, I'm happy with how he did. Yeah. What can you say about the way that you know, JT played, but not only the way he played, but the way he bounced back after that early mistake? Oh, JT, he's a man. And sometimes you wonder if someone starts off like that, has a, a bad throw or a bad block or a fumble, are they going to be able to bounce back? And there's no question if JT Barrett was going to bounce back. Like, that's who he is. So, you know, he, he was staying down there. He tried to maybe force the ball a little bit. He wanted to, you know, try and throw it in there. But, you know, he came back and played the way JT plays. Is that who he can be? I mean, is that the JT you think? He did, I think he only ran it six times. Yeah. Today. But distributing all the playmakers, is that the JT you expect? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if we block for him up front, our receivers can get open, and, and JT, like I said, JT's a man who can ball out there, do what he needs to do with the ball, and get distributed to all of our players.